So welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Naya value. So I'm calling this Naya value. Well, first, this was my favorite deck for Guilds of Ravnica standard. Really liked playing this deck uh, a ton and, you know, we used to play it all the time. But then after Ravnica Allegiance was printed, I don't think that's supposed to be right there. I don't think that's how that's supposed to happen. But anyway, after Ravnica Allegiance was printed, then the the problem is, or the problem was, that the, eh, whatever. Ooh. I'll just leave it like that. Um, the Your Gorgari matchup was okay, and it was, it was pretty good, but it was, you know, really close. Sultai, though, was a much bigger problem for this deck, specifically because of Hydroid Crisis. You know, our removal, just main removal spell being Lava Coil, didn't match up against Hydroid Crisis. Uh, they got to draw, like, Hydroid Crisis just draws you so many cards and everything. So overall, still, I don't think our Sultai matchup is too good. Thankfully, these days, not a ton of people are playing Sultai, not nearly as much. I think people may have gotten kind of bored of the deck or so. So I want to give Naya Value another try here. <laughs> I know, the forests are the only cards we don't get to foil out. Ugh, basic lands. Cool, Jelly. You said this was your main deck you played a couple weeks prior to Ravnica Allegiance. Nice. So, yeah. <clears throat> the main thing is we're a Militia Bugler deck. And that's why I call it values. Because basically we have all these creatures that have... Uh, that can gain... Um, gain value. We have a lot of enter the battlefield effects, like these four, the wild growth walkers can gain a bunch of life and get a lot of counters. Biogenic use, of course. Aurelia is kind of our only, is our only creature that's not, but, you know, really has that static ability as well. But basically we're a Militia Bugler deck where we try to grind out opponents um, by just having so much gas. Like, we play a Bugler, go find you know, Bugler finds a Jade Light, and then Jade Light explores and gets you some extra lands or whatever. J or Bugler can find another Bugler. Or Bugler goes gets a Daredevil. And then you play Daredevil and use the opponent's spell for something. And it we can do a whole lot of things here. I uh, really like the interaction between a Johnny and Direfully Daredevil. Whenever you have the Direfully Daredevil in the graveyard, you can use a Johnny's minus ability to bring back the Daredevil. So you can have a little extra mana to help cast like whatever spell they have in the grave in the graveyard. You get more, so basically Daredevil gets you more removal spells, you know, it gets you um, more lava coils against Drakes or Vras's Contempts, or like you get your opponent's find, like after your opponent casts a finality and wipes your board, you can Daredevil and use that find and restock and so on. Um, one card that I have in, in the sideboard here for this Ultime matchup in particular is Sun Cleanser. This will, you know, I, I don't want like a ton of them, but we're going to play one. Uh, you know, it just kills a Hydroid Crisis on the spot. Or if they have a big creature because of Finality or like a big Wild Growth Walker that has gotten out of our removal range, uh, we can kill their, or like just reduce their Wild Growth Walker size and so on. Um, Deafening Clarions look a little odd, but honestly, these are just really good against aggro and against tokens. There are some decks that just go wide, and and we want the the sweeper, mm -hmm. even against aggro. Even if we have a battlefield presence, and you're like, oh no, our Clarion's just going to kill our creatures. Well, in that case, then you just use the second ability, uh, and just give your creatures lifelink and help make sure you win a race. So either you're behind and you can use the top ability, or you're uh, ahead and you can just use the bottom ability and close out the game. So it's it's good either way. Um, we got a lot of Vivians, of course, because this card's just incredible. Got a fourth Vivian in the board also. Um, we have some Harpooners in the board for a Johnny Harpooner shenanigans. Uh, and same, like a Johnny can bring back Sun Cleanser as well. So that's our deck. Let's give it a try. And see how Naya value is stacking up these days. It's been a couple months since we played the deck. Let's give this a try. Yeah, I've, I think I kind of like Ooze more than Tristani these days. I know, you know, before Ravnica Allegiance, we definitely had Tristani's there, but 
think I'm liking to use these days. We're going with the Johnny avatar. So is this mono blue? Or is this Drake's or anything like that? Mono blue. So expect them to have an essence capture here. They were really like kind of debating of like it seemed like they were debating of whether to counter the wild growth walker or not. I'm gonna be going. So basically, what I'm saying is I'm gonna be going with a bugler here. Yeah, let's go bugler. All right, that's fine. I'd rather that, that get countered, of course, than my Wild Growth Walker or Jade Light Ranger. We don't have much of a clock going on us right now. Okay. Shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> if we could just gain some life with the... You know, basically if we get a, a Jade Light Ranger to stick. Ugh. Man, these last two draws of being Vivian Vivian. Quite rough. So I guess I have to throw Jade Light Ranger out here now. Um... Man, I, I wanted to draw land here and just play the Biogenicus. That's what I wanted to do was go land Biogenicus or even land Vivian. I, did, I wanted to save Jade Light where we could double spell and also wait to see if we could, you know, run them out of counters before we play Jade Light. But we just, we can't wait anymore. So this is a real unfortunate drawing two more five drops. Oh my gosh. They're resolved. I mean, it's not a bad card. They must just have like spell pierce and, and dive down or land or, you know, stuff like that. Hey Zerf, it's going great. How's your weekend? Corn lover, hey. And what's up, Scott? Balding Yeti. Welcome. One down to one twenty seven here saying, Hey hey, can't wait for you to beat me tomorrow. I really do think that it's cool that you're giving your fans an opportunity to play magic with one of their favorite magic players. Very, very cool of you. Aw, oh, thanks, Balding Eddie. Yeah, that should be a great time. Definitely looking forward to tomorrow being the sub-battle day. Yeah, that is a tough choice on that Lava Coil, for sure. And Matthew, getting the Twitch Prime sub back. Keep this hype going. Third sub already on the day. Y'all are awesome. Hmm. We do not have that fifth land anywhere. This is probably going to be all four lands now. Okay, it wasn't, <laughs> wasn't quite. There's two lands there. We'll take the branch walker. Wow, 
we just have to as long as our opponent does not draw curious, curious obsession like you know we're going to be fine we're going to outgrind our opponent it just like that's the card that our opponent needs is curious obsession okay they have had enough they have had enough Oh, the deck list could still be on on Grixis. I'm not sure here. This is this is our deck list here. There you go. That's that's the deck list. And if it was, if the command was wrong. Scott, thanks for re seven. Already been a month. Awesome. Boom, down to one twenty five. Yeah, we're gonna have our, our second sub battle not too long after the first one. I mean, our opponent has to be sitting on Spell Pierce, right? I guess it doesn't. It really doesn't matter. I can't really see how we lose. That's what I, was, I was like, you know, just taking a second, tr trying to think of like a way we could lose, and I, I couldn't really find a way that we that we could lose there. Um. Oh, okay. Hey. Oh yeah, it just has two months. Doesn't say two months in a row. Gotcha. Alright, so let's get rid of Daredevil and a Johnny Vivian. These two cards are not spectacular, neither is Biogenic Ooze. I mean Clarion doesn't kill Tempest Gen, but besides that, it could do some real work for us. With that tier one sub. You are amazing, D Love. Thank you so much. Seven months? Dang. So many months. 124. Yeah, I, I love these cosmetics, honestly. I, I love how these cards look. I know not everybody does. I know some people prefer you know the card looking like this to looking like this, but I I just love these 3D cards. It, it raises my enjoyment level of playing the game. Hey, someone supporting with Quip. All right. So we have an anonymous person supporting with Quip. Let's get some hype in the chat because I believe that would be... Oh, yeah, we got Stomping Ground, so we do have a, a Shock Land. That's good. I believe that is number 30. 
How are we going first? Opponent says we go first? That is number 30. Wow. We have another 12 hour stream to do here soon. Y'all are amazing. I very much appreciate y'all um, helping, helping me out by just checking out my sponsors and uh, supporting my sponsors definitely supports the stream as well. Uh, it's, a, it's a big deal and I'm gonna be happier. The, so thank you so much. Oh, Millennium God, it was you. Didn't know how to use your name. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Millennium God. Dude, you're gonna love that toothbrush. It is, you know, I've talked about it plenty here. It's just an awesome toothbrush. It is a very enjoyable brushing experience, which is um, something I wouldn't really think that I'd say that I'd like look forward to using a toothbrush each and every day. So that means we need to do another 12 hour stream soon. Should we do the 12 hour stream tomorrow for the sub battle stream? Yeah, you're liking you're liking the MeUndies too, Gatsby. Have you did you get the socks from MeUndies? Because oh my gosh, those socks are awesome. If we do if we do the twelve hour sub battle stream, that would give a lot more people opportunity to battle. Uh, and I guess I'd be a little bit worried that we would kind of run out of subs subscribers to battle. But I guess we could I, you know I could play. The, some of y'all twice kind of thing. No, not ankle socks, dress socks. They're dress socks with... Um, yeah, dress socks that are just so... They're very padded. They're very thick and really comfortable and, like, make... It feels kind of feels like you have, like, extra padding in your shoe. Hey, Yager! Welcome. 27 months, Yager. You are awesome. That is... You know, that's like day one stuff here. Thank you so much for staying here at the channel all this time, Yager. You are awesome. Jelly Tug votes 12-hour sub-battle stream. Swaggy says, how important is the Dire Fleet in the deck? Is there an acceptable replacement, or is it a must-have? Uh, so, must-have is a little strong. I would say if you'd like a, a replacement for it, um, yep, it's free to battle if you're a sub. Yep, Goat Boat, we're going to be doing that tomorrow. It's just going to be, you know, random of, you know, the, the people that are ready here, like in, in chat and everything. We'll be picking a random person and kind of like giveaway style, basically. So all you have to do is just be here and kind of be on your your arena account, and you know we'll play a one one v one match, and then uh, and then after that, you know, sign up for you know another person and so on. So Captain Love with the Twitch Prime sub, thank you so much. That gets us down to one twenty two for the next one. All right, so with the 12 hour, best of three. Yeah, best of three for sure. We don't do no best of one stuff around these parts. Um, well, I guess I play this Lyra Dawnbringer. While my opponent you know, like, they could have a Spell Pierce to counter Vivian or a Johnny. Spell Pierce is encountering Lyra, though. So 12-hour sub-battle stream tomorrow. 
12 to 12 East Eastern Standard Time. All right, so some of y'all may not get my absolute best with it being 12 hours. But... That's okay. One card in hand. I understand you're seeing yourself what I see in you. Basically, just don't need to attack because of dive down. And if my opponent wants to have their Tempest Gen attack a Johnny, then that's just telling us they have the dive down. Hey, King Toll, good evening. But I wanted to check because if, you know, check if it was a counter spell, I wanted a Johnny. Basically, Johnny was like my worst card in hand. I wanted a Johnny get encountered. I could have gone double Harpooner, but if I do that. Uh, if I go like the first Harpooner and they have Dive Down, then like the second one doesn't do anything, and that just kind of used my whole turn. So just went ahead and went with the uh, Ajani first. Oh, sorry about that, King Toll. Well, just know I'm always on it each and every day. But of course, you know that. Nope, all good, Millennium God, because the notification popped up, so we're all we're all good. So it's basically if you place an order with one of these companies and the order and the notification doesn't pop up, then it you know may not have uh, gone through, and you know then uh, and then I would may need the order number to let them know. So okay, so now. Why do you want to use two green sources deck? Now let's give this a try. All right, no dive down. I will lend you my strength. Oh, thanks, Captain Love. I just saw your message there. I'm back for month two. Going to be getting all my primes. Aw. Uh-oh. Well, I guess, I guess we're going to have to kill that with Vivian. Harpooner doesn't Get quite kill it. Here. There's more work to do. We get another creature over here. All right, so Naya Value looking really strong that game. Our opponent did not have. Uh, Curious Obsession, and so it made that a lot easier. We just got to grind out our opponent. <clears throat> no, First Strike does not come into play whenever Crowd Harpooner's ability uh, activates. That's The fight ability does not take First First Strike as only an ability during combat. Matthew said, just a suggestion, you can possibly consider doing the set review on Saturday, April 20th, the weekend before the set release because the Sunday is Easter if you wanted to let people know ahead of time when you wanted to do it. Yeah, I think we'll probably do it that's Saturday. We may do it Friday, the Friday before. I know last time we did it on Friday. So like that, so that would be the 19th. That should be the day that we get all of the cards from the set. Rylan. Four cards is not very many cards.
I wouldn't be surprised if our opponent doesn't play anything and just kind of passes. No, they are playing. All right, we got got a game here. So Steam Vents, Daredevil is usually good against Steam Vents decks. I don't, you know, depending on, like, if they, depending on what they were, I would have just fired off the Daredevil, but yeah. I like waiting a turn, seeing if they had Opt, or maybe they'd have, like, a Chart of Course or Discovery or, you know, anything kind of like that. Now I'll just Dare, Daredevil Opt. Basically, build your own Jade Light Ranger. Um, we already got a coil. I mean, if this is Drake's coil is good, though. This looks like Drake's. Coil's one of my best cards, but... Oh, well. Hey, Eddie, good day. Alright, JR. Yep, I'll take a Johnny. A Johnny can get my Daredevil back and look for a Shock or Lava Core or anything like that. So another First Strike question. If you had a creature with First Strike and Death Touch, does the creature it's attacking die before it does damage? Yes. Assuming, yeah. So, like, let's, as assuming the other creature doesn't have First Strike also. So, if you have a 2-2 two -two First Strike Death Touch creature and your opponent attacks with a 5-5 five -five, and you block with your 2-2 two -two First Strike Death Touch, it will deal the... So then first strike damage will happen before regular damage, and so it'll deal the two first strike damage I didn't to the 5-5. Five five. And, and since it has death touch, that damage will then kill that creature, and it will be dead. And then it'll go to regular damage, but that creature's already dead, so the 5-5 five five will not do any damage at all. Hey, what's up, Nimbus? No one knows the wilds like I do. So just going with the power of, of multiple Biogenic uses, could have certainly taken Branch Walker and played Branch Walker plus a Johnny this turn. I want to wait for them, like, once they play another Drake, I can go a Johnny minus, get Daredevil, Daredevil, Coil, the, the Drake. I also have this Coil too, I suppose. Bacon Bolt. That's just eating up my creatures. You can't stop nature. Elev with the donation deck. And yeah, today and tomorrow, the last couple of days where we are putting all donations towards the cosmetics here on Arena. And just probably good. We're probably going to need some new co cosmetics from the cards from the next set, too. So. Uh. Let's see what, what deck we got here. Simic Stompy. All right. With Departed Deckhand. So Simic Stompy with Departed Deckhand. Together, Give me this back. Heal. I don't really even have to play my own Lava Coils. My opponent already knew about the Ajani from Jade Light Ranger earlier. All right, so that works. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Okay, awesome. Uh, what day would you like me to play a D-Lev? Not going to be playing it tomorrow because we're doing the sub battle stream tomorrow. But it's like next week, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, any any day. Um, you know, first, second, third, or fourth, which which slot would you like me to play it and which day? And if we took our opponent's beacon bolt or bacon bolt, it would not have killed the Drake, because when we when we cast the bacon bolt it checks our graveyard. And so it would have done like zero damage. Or not not a very not very many damage at the very least. All right, if we bring all these in. Don't want to cut Bugle Boy? 
or ooze. I do like a Johnny. I think a Johnny, you know, with Daredevil and Harpooner do a whole lot. Uh, but basically, we're just bringing in a lot of cards that Bugler doesn't hit, which is why I'm cutting Bugler. Bacon Bolt. That's what these Crackling Drakes have. They have Bacon Breath. So they spit out Bacon Bolts when they're talking. Ignite the bacon. Oh, sorry, Eddie. I, I missed your comment earlier. Just, so playing the Sunpellow Grove over Sacred Foundry here in case we draw a Jade Light, we would, we would have been able to dubs spell. Uh, let's go ahead and go and opt. Uh, Todd, do you recommend to continue to grind or think it might be worth spending money on gems to get a playset of Steamkin and one Goblin Chain Whirler? I think you can kind of go either way. I mean, that's, that's kind of up to you. I, I think that that's... It's definitely... I think it's definitely acceptable to... Uh, spend a, a little bit of money for, for the, you know, just to get Steamkin and, and Chain Whirler, because that'll certainly help out your red deck. But it's also something that you kind of have to make that decision if, um, you know, if it's, you know, if if you do have the money to spend, and or if uh, you don't, you know, if you don't. If you're having some success without them, you don't mind not not having them, you know, all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of variables there that I can't really answer for you. Balance comes. Yeah, our, our poor opponent did not get to play very much magic there. They had, yeah, game one mold to four, and then game two gets stuck on one land after opt. Which is a real unfortunate game for them. So yeah, we have way too many lands here, but, you know, want to make sure we can play magic. All we need to do is start drawing some explore creatures or buglers or anything like that. Do I coil Firebrand? Do you love if you can't add it in today, then Monday like third? Let's see, what deck? What deck would we take out for today if I added it in today? I want my opponent to play a burn spell so we can daredevil their burn spell. Hey, feature. Yeah, how Crambler said spending a little bit of money for quality of life is definitely acceptable. Yeah, if you're not quite enjoying. <laughs> Need our opponent to lightning strike us or wizards lightning us. 
so I can kill this Chain Whirler. Ugh, not play more Chain Whirlers. Ugh. And of course, that was the, the gamble that I was taking there by using the Lava Coils early, is that I was going to be a lot worse against my opponent playing Chain Whirlers, but how we didn't have anything in hand... Um, I didn't want them just to be able to have a, a bunch of burn spells and just kill me with these creatures. And, like, yeah, I didn't want to just sit there and just take a bunch of damage from the creatures while I had a removal spell in hand. Yeah, we'll we'll see Matthew. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right. Uh, Sun Cleanser just does does a good job blocking, and can keep a Steamkin. You know, it's really good against Steamkin also, and it just does a a decent job blocking. Kind of, all of our cards are kind of good. We just didn't have cards. I guess I'm cutting a Johnny, even though I don't really hate a Johnny. And Vivian. Daredevil is, you know, not so good against... Fanatical Firebrand or Chain Whirler. But especially if they don't have Chain Whirler, it's usually pretty good. But would I rather have Ooze over Daredevil? I don't think so. Would I rather have Vivian over Chain Whirl or over Daredevil? Maybe one Vivian over the third Daredevil. Go with the Vivian because just to have another answer for Frenzy 1 or 2, it can help us find, you know, like Wild Growth Walkers or Lyra or, you know, like a bunch of things. I should probably play this not the ground, but... They didn't play any black mana last game, right? Didn't they just only have basics? Basic mountains last game? They did have black mana? Okay. Guess I wasn't quite paying attention to that. So we need to draw an untapped green source to be able to go walker plus ranger here. How to change your username in Twitch? I think it's on your in your dashboard. I believe or no, it's not in your dashboard. It's in like your settings or something. I don't know. That's a, that's the kind of thing that's a, usually a pretty easy Google search. Just Google how to change your username in Twitch. Should be able to come right up. having all these divinations, opponents. 
Perfect. Untapped green source. Alright, d -Lev. Okay, yeah, so I, I could do your deck over quasi dupla ooze, because then I guess those are both Simic decks, so I could I could do yours instead. Which which spot do you want for today? Like second, third, fourth? Remodi. So they have a shock. This is pretty bad. Yeah, if they have a shock, they just get to kill it with Chain Whirler and everything. So they have a shock, they can kill it after I Clarion. Perfect. All right, no shock. Well, yeah, no shock. Okay. So our Jade Light's going to die. But trading Jade Light for the other two is a good trade. So let's go. Let's go both. And then we get to attack for eight lifelink because we get to mentor here. We're up to 24. It's not over yet, though. Frenzy, especially Frenzy with map, can't certainly go crazy. This is not. This is not over. Yeah, as long as spell and capitalization, that should be all you really need. And you have you have the number also, right? Like you have, you know, like on your your name, you have to you have to have the number. Do you have that? Like the num, you know, like you know, like Zerf number one. You know, like, whatever. Like, you need that part. Huh. Yeah, you did the number thing, too? Well, there goes lands 9 and 10 for us. And number 11. Come on, deck. Uh, if we would, would have drawn like a spell that wasn't a land for the last four turns.
but we didn't. Whiff. Whiff. Please whiff. No! Ugh. Okay. Back at it. Guess maybe I should have just taken the four from Risk Factor. Even though, because they have so much mana, they can pop Frenzy pretty easily. Usually those cards don't matter when they have Frenzy out, but they have so much mana, they can pop Frenzy. They're down to 15 cards in library. We're at 41. <laughs> We're supposed to be a value deck. <laughs> how crazy frenzy is and they had they had triple uh light up the stage earlier or no only two light ups oh there's three. Oh yeah there's the other one yeah one two three yes yeah, so they had triple one mana divination earlier and then this Ugh. yeah we drew too many lands in the late game <laughs> Welcome to Legacy. <laughs> so we need to draw Clarion, of course. Clarion's our card that... I mean, the Steamkins may just get out of Clarion range anyway. Alright, sorry to hear that, Alex. Have a good day, though. Yeah, even Clarion, they probably just have whatever instant they'll just spend these treasures on. Yeah, we yeah, we've been dead for a while. Where can I find the traditional constructed events? There's a switch you need to toggle that's right around like where my cursor is on your on the home screen. Go to around this area. There's a there's a switch you need to toggle to to turn on where the constructed events are. The traditional ones, that is. All right, two and one. Sometimes. Sometimes Mono Red is just an average deck. Sometimes it's a legacy deck. When they had, you know, the three, three one-mana divinations and then Frenzy that just gets them millions of cards. And they end up looking at 30 more cards than us. <laughs> you can't overcome 30 cards. Yeah, once we drew the forest, so we got to wow growth into jade light, I was feeling good. And then we put two spells in the graveyard with the jade light, because we didn't really need either of those two spells. But unfortunately, every card after that was a land. So I really should not have put those two spells in the graveyard, I suppose. Hmm. We didn't draw a spell besides that one Lyra when it was way too late the rest of the game. In fact, I think I only drew two spells that whole game. I think I only drew one spell and then the Lyra. 
Because the bugler found the wild growth walker. Yeah, so I think those 11 turns I drew two spells and nine lands, I think. So the problem with casting Lava Coil here is then our opponent could just have a Wild Growth Walker. So worst case scenario, our opponent just has a Wild Growth Walker and then a Jade Light and then we can't deal with their Wild Growth Walker because we Lava Coiled the Land War Elf. So now we know that they do not have a Wild Growth Walker, so I'm going to take out the Land we're off now, and hopefully we can draw lands this time. We drew them all last game. Oh yeah, for wanting me to scroll over the ooze. G grab asks, why are the monocolored aggro decks so much less prevalent in best of threes of the shuffle, or do they get killed by sideboarding or both? It's really neither. They are they are prevalent to the like correct degree in best of three. It's they are they're not bad choices. The monocolored aggro decks are not bad choices, and you see them a decent amount. Um, I think just a, a regular amount. Uh, um, a... Yeah, like a um Yeah. Just yeah, so you see them a good amount. Like a correct amount kind of. Um just best of best of one is just a very skewed format where it makes the monocolored aggro, where it just heavily incentivizes you to play either a, a monocolored aggro deck or a strict hard control deck that is built to beat aggro, and there's not really anything in between that you can play. Yeah, so there, it's just best that best of one, like that that design of that format is just a very bad design of a format, and so that's why it's fifty percent of the best of one metagame or whatever just a skewed format. Basically, I'm saying there's nothing wrong with the deck in in best of three. It's just it's incredible. They're incredibly good in best of one. The challenge is yeah, we're doing a uh, best Would of three you, challenges. The wilds are my yeah, shield. for sure. So we play around here. So I need two more lands to be able to. No friend of mine. Strength is born of struggle. I need two more lands to be able to have Daredevil Contempt. But Johnny's pretty nice here where... Um, you know, forces them to trade off and everything. I've seen squirrels hit harder. Where finality can be a, a problem for us. Um, we had turned Meet two of our creatures that could not friend. attack through the 4-3, then now they can. That was really bad for us. That was a, a very bad turn for us. Irritated. Wow, growth plus Jade Light with another Jade Light and Fine Finality. Very bad turn for us. Hmm. 
Yeah, ever, ever, yep. Yeah. It was a little late. Yeah, basically all the stuff we have is just a little late. Deliver us to victory. Getting stuck, you know, not not hitting a third land drop is a, is a huge problem. In this kind of matchup, you know, like we're we're both just basically basically the matchup comes down to who spends Come more mana, kind of thing, um, and you know, getting stuck on lands is not a good way to spend more mana. Than your opponent, but this is this is this is a really tough matchup for us. Finality, find finality, and Hydro Crisis are, are really good against us. This is what whenever we started the league, whenever I, I was talking about why I haven't been playing Naya Value nearly as much as uh, what I did last format, it was specifically because of this card. Uh, turning, making, like before our Golgari matchup, we were okay. We weren't spectacular, but we were okay. Um, we won a good amount of them, but now with with Hydroid Crisis, it just kind of turns the tide the tide towards Soltai and Hostage Taker too. Hostage Taker is a real problem. The wilds are my shield. Chief asks, how many packs of each set should I get to have a semi-competitive deck? And it's it's not really about that. It's not you don't need to get any kind of certain number of um, of packs in each set. It's it's really just finding whatever competitive deck you like, and you know tr trying to get either the wild cards for those those cards or you know like build towards getting those cards in that deck that specific deck hey nice jelly saying i tried my harry's razor today and loved it i actually ordered the chrome razor today with the stand that's awesome yeah, we have a, a great deal with Harry's Razors, and we only need nine more people to sign up to be able to have another 12-hour stream. I'll tell you all that here in just a second, about that here in a, in a second. I'm going to finish up sideboarding. I don't really know exactly what I want to do. Aurelia can be... Like, Aurelia survives finality, but it's just really bad against Vivian. I'm going to take it out. Yeah, the starter set is $3. It's, it really is a no-brainer. And... Um, good way to support the stream, too. And, it, and it's just $3. So how it works... Um, you get you get a razor and shaving cream. Get their their starter set that's usually thirteen dollars for just three dollars free shipping. We're not playing Magic this time. Our round two Drake's opponent didn't get to play Magic, and now we don't get to. Oh, this is a fun match. Didn't hit a third land in the first game, and now we're down to four. Before we see any lands. So basically, go through my referral link there, uh, get that starter set, put that in, in your basket. Usually costs $13. If you sign up for the subscription, it 
takes five dollars off so it goes down to eight that subscription is cancelable anytime so there's no uh, purchase required for the subscription and then also type in the coupon code Todd Stevens MTG do that as well and you get another five dollars off and so then it drops the price all the way down to just three bucks um, with with like I said free shipping you don't have to worry about it. it'll show up in a couple of days and it's a good razor um, well well worth the price like you can't really get things for cheaper than three dollars sent to your house right like it's it just doesn't really you can't really get anything uh, for cheaper than that So really, like, losing that one... Obviously we didn't put up any fights in the second game, and even the first fight we were just kind of stuck on lands. Um, but losing that one, I'm, I'm expecting us to lose to Sultai, to be honest. And that's what, that's what I've talked about, is how, like, the, the biggest reason why I'm not playing the deck nearly as much as what we did before. Uh, Sultai gaining Hydroid Crisis and Hostage Taker... Uh, we're both big problems for our deck. But before against Golgari, we, were, we did a, a pretty good job against him. But the Mono Red, Mono Red is a, a matchup that I think that we would win a very high percentage of the time. You know, I think that's like a 65% a matchup for us. You know, like our we just have a lot in our sideboard too with Clarion, Knight of Autumn, and Lyra. Uh, to go along with like the wild growth ex explore package and just good good solid blockers and everything but we don't don't uh win them all and you know f flooded out pretty bad that second game so yep kind of both of our losses was just you know drawing 11 lands and then mulliganing into oblivion. It's just, that's the, the kind of stuff that happens with magic. That you don't really, you know, get to play too much. It's, it's pretty unfortunate. Um, but that's, that's how it goes. The, I guess both games against Mono Rex. Remember how we were just sitting with the Daredevil with nothing else to play besides Daredevil? We are just sitting there. Yeah, we only had three cards total the first game. Yeah, both, both games against Mono Red just drew... Just tons and tons of lands, and then both games against Sultai didn't have enough lands. The I, I do think the London Mulligan rule would be a really good addition to Standard. I, I'm not sure what like how good it would be for other formats, but I think that the London Mulligan rule would be a very good addition to Standard and also limited as well. Yeah, I I I would like to see that that rule implemented um, on Arena. So we'll have to see what happens with that. Oh, Joy, yeah, no, I can, no, I get you, no, yeah, Grill Dinos, yeah, you're good. I'll get you there. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's it for Naya Value for tonight. Uh, we'll have to try this deck again another time because that was just a, a, you know, pretty unfortunate sample of two games and really even just kind of the whole league. Like our second, our second match we won because our opponent didn't get to play Magic either game. So it's just a pretty, it's just a pretty poor showing a variance just kind of all the way around throughout the entire league even our wins and our losses um so it wasn't the most exciting magic but uh thanks for watching this video if you're watching it later on on youtube and i will see you for the next video